Welcome to part six of our video series. We continue to review of the PCI Express Gen 5 specification based IBC MI models. My name is Todd Berman Solo. I'm an application engineer here at Keysight in the Design Engineer Software Services Group. This is our final video segment. Let's review the presentation objectives to see if we've met our goals. Uh, objective number one. We've gone through the PCI Express Gen 5 specification items that are important for our IBC MI model. We've also covered IBC MI simulation basics and usage details of this model set. For objective two, we've reviewed verification data along with performance results of the model set. For objective number three, we touched on particular elements of the process like software tools and skills needed to be efficient and effective. Uh, along with verification steps, but we need to pull it together uh, at a high level. So to conclude this video series, let's spend the rest of our time looking at the overall process followed. On the left-hand side, the first step of the development process is requirements. In this case, our source was the PCI Express Gen 5 base specification. Next, uh, channel cases were built and reviewed in ADS uh, and then imported into system view. When in system view, the focus was on transmit and receive creation. Uh, equalization, decision making logic, and clock recovery was implemented and tested out. Once satisfied with the transmit and receive performance, the system view elements were exported to IBIS AMI models and loaded into ADS. The ADS performance was correlated back to system view to verify operation um, as expected with no errors. Finally, a sweep simulation was run in ADS to verify a more complete picture of the IBIS AMI usage and confirm features were working as expected. And of course, all the methods and data were documented as a reference to future users. Well, uh, that concludes the process um, and results for this IBIS AMI model set. Uh, I'd like to thank you for your time as we reviewed these PCI Express Gen 5 specification models. I uh, hope you found this presentation insightful and you are confident in using the resulting IBIS AMI models for your system simulations. Thank you again and happy simulating.